Okay, so in the previous class, we actually discussed about our course outline and a very uh, basic things about our management. So our course is principles of management. Uh, in this course, we will be actually discussing about the basic knowledge about management, the processes and different type of managers. How can you be a, a good manager? How to uh, like acknowledge uh, ab about information about your uh, uh, um, employees uh, and a bit history of our management. So this sort of stuff. So this is our first chapter, which is an introduction to management. Okay. So here uh, we actually discussed about management, management process, what type of information we need, what is an organization, who is manager, right? In previous class, we discussed about those things. So just uh, I'm going to recap a bit. This is uh, the content from previous class. I didn't show the slide, but I actually discussed this type of sort. Now, this is our organization, right? Uh, organization is a place where some people, a group of people work together in a coordinated manner, right? To achieve a certain goal, our organization's goal. So that is called an organization, a place where a group of people work together in a coordinated function, a coordinated manner to achieve a specific goal or organization's goal. We can say that. So to achieve any type of goal in an organization, we basically need four type of resources. We talked about uh, this in the previous class. So what are the resources? Human resource, physical resource, information, and as well as our finance, money, right? So these are the basic four type of resource we are talking about. Now, if we look at this example, there are four different type of organizations, right? One is Royal Dutch or Shell Group. So they are mainly uh, they are mainly a uh, uh, oil uh, manufacturing company, and then there is an university and New York City. The, uh, uh, they are actually like uh, city in a sense, an organization that means who actually receives tax and actually coordinated with the law. Okay, and then Susan's Corner Grocery Store, a very small organizations. So these there are four different type of organizations we are talking about, and see the title. These are the resources we need. The resources we need, human, finance, our physical and information resources. Now, for different type of organization, we actually need different type of resources, right? We need four type of resources, but the focus, we focus more on different resources for different organizations. For say, if we talk about this university, Michigan State University, it's for say our university, University of Scholars, what type of resource we need most to operate this organization, to achieve the goal of this organization, this university, what do you think? Teachers. That means human resource, must, right? We'll be focusing more on human resource. After that, prioritize the, the resources. That also comes under human resource. Physical resource. Uh, physical resource, okay. After human resource, you are saying physical resource. That means uh, this TV, that mobile, board, right? The AC, the whole room. We are talking about everything, right? Every equipment and materials needed to carry out the operation. So after human resource, we'll be focusing on our physical resource because we're giving service and to give better service, we not need these physical resources, right? So after human resource, that we need physical resource. Then financial. financial. Without investing, we cannot do anything, right? We, we, uh, the, for investing in physical resources and human resources, we need our finance. After that, we need also information, right? The fourth priority will be on our information because we need to know what other universities are doing as well, what my competitor is doing, right? Their performances and how I can update my faculties, how, which type of training I need to give them. So this sort of information. So for an, in, an university, uh, this is, they are prioritizing, right? Human resource first, physical, then uh, our uh, capital and information. And now, if I talk about Royal Dutch or Shell Group, this is an oil manufacturing company. What would be their focus? What do you think? For the, that, that type of manufacturing company? Financial resources. Because they need to invest a lot. Then? I 
I think it would be physical resources because they need to drill, right? They need to like pull out the oil. They need a big heavy machineries to pull out the work. If they have human resource only manually, they cannot do the work. They need those type of machineries. That's why after finance, because this business requires a lot of money investing, after finance, it is the machineries, the physical resource. Then comes our human resource because the machineries will be operated by human and then our information, right? So see, for different, even there is a grocery shop. Just think about your, our local grocery, grocery shop. What would be their focus if they are thinking about their resource organization? For any grocery shop, a small uh, local grocery shops, what would be their structure? What's their first need? What's the in this uh, in shop? Uh, okay. First two, we had similar thinking, right? But on this, we have different opinions. Someone is saying physical. Someone is saying we need to invest. Okay. Which is uh, just think about as a business person. Uh, think you are operating, you will be opening a grocery shop for yourself. So what type of things you need first? The basic thing, which, without that you cannot start your business. Yes, so what kind of product customer wants uh, that the things you have to focus? In fact, you also have to tell you, that's why he's in this, that kind of power. For operating or starting, starting a small business, we need capital, right? Because we will be buying our product with that capital. That means we need our financial resource first. Then comes our human resource, right? Because in a store, small store, owner is the employee, right? Owner is the server. So owner is everything. So the business actually roams around one person, right? Sometimes he may hire a, 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 an individual for like uh, helping him out. But mainly what you see, this is a one person's game. Okay, so after finance, there is our human resource, right? Then what you need? Information or our physical resource? Physical resource. Physical resource, right? We need light, we need fan, we need a fridge to store our products, right? So this sort of small things. We need some shelf to organize our product. Then we need information. What my other competitors are doing, right? So I can do better than them. So these are the structures actually, depending on organization, our resources criteria or resources demand will change. We need these four type of resources, but depending on the organization context, the it will vary. Which will come first, which will come later. That's all. Now, if you can recall, I talked about management, efficiency, effectiveness and manager. Okay. Now tell me, what was if the basic difference between effectiveness and efficiency? Those who were present in the last class. Can you recall? Yes. Carrying out a plan within a cost effective way, within a cost effect. And what is effectiveness? Carrying a, carry out a plan and implementing it in a successful way, right? Effectiveness and efficiency. Efficiency is when we plan, when we implement a plan or, or achieve a goal in a cost effective way. That means with few, uh, with less cost, maximum output. But effectiveness is when I have a plan and I can successfully execute it and by executing it, I can achieve a certain goal. That is effectiveness. Uh, one is depending on the plan and successfully execution it. Another is successfully achieving the goal, but in a cost effective way. Okay. So efficiency is related with cost effectiveness and effectiveness. It is related with successfully executing the plan actually. Okay. So um, I told about, so I, we have discussed about our resources, effectiveness and efficiency, right? And also talked about four processes of management, right? There are four processes of management. Talked about this one, right? Planning and decision making, organizing, leading and controlling. These are the basic four process of management. That means when we talked about achieving goal in an organization, right? We want to achieve a goal in an organization. That's why we actually manage people, right? Manage everything. So how can we achieve anything? We need a blueprint for that. We need a planning for that, right? We need a process for that. So this is the basic process in an organization. By following this process, any organization would be able to achieve their goal. Okay, so planning, decision making, organizing, leading and controlling. I will get back to, uh, I will discuss about the details a bit later. 
Now, see goal attainment. We want to achieve our goal in an efficient and effective way. When we are talking about we want to achieve our goal in efficient way, that means we want to achieve something in a cost effective way. When we are talking about effectiveness, we are thinking about successfully implementing our planning and decision making part. Okay. So, with this process, efficiency and effectiveness is also attached, right? And these are our resources we need to carry out the plan. Without these resources, we cannot actually function the plan, right? So, this is a process of management. So, from here, can we say what is management? From here, can we have a picture of management? Just with this process, right? So, management is a process because we are talking about four processes here, right? So, management is a process, of course. Process of what? Planning and decision making, organizing, leading, and controlling. With the help of what? With the help of our resources, right? Human resource, physical resource, financial resource, and information resource to achieve an organization's goal in an effective and efficient manner. So that is actually our definition of management. See, a set of activities including planning, decision making, organizing, leading, and controlling with the help of organizational resources, four type of resource, with the aim of achieving organization goal, we want to achieve our organization goal, how? In an effective and efficient manner. So if we actually remember the components separately, it's easy for us to remember this uh, whole concept. Okay, so this is our management process with this type of resources we need. Now we will moving to our processes, a bit better understanding about the processes. Now this is a simple thing, a manager. A person who actually carries out the management process, right? Who is responsible for carrying out the management process. He can be anyone, a human resource manager, a accounts manager, different area manager are responsible for achieving different area goal, right? And a manager, overall manager, he is responsible for achieving the overall goal of an organization. Now, See this picture here, this process, this is a flow, right? A circular flow which is happening over and over again. But there are some cross-functional here and going like back, going here from here, right? Some cross-functional uh, arrows are here. Why is that? Can, can anyone uh, tell me? This is a process. We understand this. After this, this comes. After this, this comes. But why it is going back and forth and there are some cross-functional activity going here? Any idea? I uh, asked about this is a process, circular process. So the process after one, achieving one, we go move to the another one, right? But this arrow shows a backward linkage and also a cross-functional linkage. So why this is like going backward and also it is interconnecting uh, or cr cross-functioning? Depends on the Yeah, first of all, if I talk about this simple process, after planning in a normal normal organization, what happens? After planning and decision making, move into organizing, then leading and then controlling. Okay, but sometimes what happens? We go backwards. Why? Because I talked about planning and decision making. Now first come to what is planning and decision making. Mainly, 
planning and decision making it can be a separate department or a in, in a same department okay so previously uh, we used to say management process contains five uh, steps okay planning is they are separated from decision making but now we say planning and decision making under one circle so you can write whatever you want both are okay okay planning and planning and decision making together it all are okay now in the planning part what happens we actually make a plan how to achieve our goal right for say we want to uh, increase our customer satisfaction our company is abc company and we want to achieve our uh, or boost our customer satisfaction this year okay our target is that so this is our goal so how we can achieve it there can be plan one plan b plan c right different type of plan so one may say okay uh, i want to uh, boost my customer satisfaction by giving them some after sale services we can start after sale services some can say uh, we can actually get uh, uh, feedback from our customer more more frequently so that we can solve their problem that's how we can boost up customer um, satisfaction and some may say we can offer something extra with our product free stuff or a discount so that can we can uh, that way we can also boost our customer satisfaction so there are three way right one giving something extra with the product second after sale services third one is what ki bolechilam after sale service bollam product er sathe kichu extra dewar kotha bollam ar ekta আপনারা আপনাদের থেকে একটা এক্সাম্পল দেন কাস্টমার স্যাটিসফ্যাকশন কিভাবে বুস্ট করা যায় ওকে লেটস কিপ দিস প্ল্যান নাও উইথ প্ল্যানিং আমি বললাম যে নাও উই হ্যাভ থ্রি প্ল্যান ওকে ওই প্ল্যান এর মধ্যে কোনটা ভালো সবচেয়ে হুইচ প্ল্যান ইজ মোস্ট সুইটেবল টু ক্যারি আউট now the part will be carried out in decision making process for say we have now we have three plans we know what we need to do but which one is more suitable what do you think according to you which one is more suitable taking frequent feedback from customer or giving after sale service or giving a discount or free stuff with the product we have three plan to boost our customer satisfaction which plan do you want to go first after sale service okay for say for abc company i we want to go for after sale service okay so in the decision making part we we have decided among these three plans we will move forward with our uh, um, our after sale services okay so this is our decision making part done now comes to our organizing part organizing is all about managing your resources and utilizing it to achieve the decision you just made so i want to achieve the the plan i want to achieve my goal my goal is to boost customer satisfaction and i have decide to achieve this goal what can i do i can uh, give after sale services now i can start so this is my decision making part so now what type of resources i need to carry out this plan to give after sale service which type of resource i need customer service representative we need right so that means human resource human resource and then we also need some financing right um, money because we need to uh, like uh, give mobile to our uh, our employees or uh, like giving uh, mobile charge mobile recharge to the, them as well so there are some minor uh, investment and also we need information right what my computer is giving as after sale service so i can compare and give something extra to my customer so this sort of thing we need okay and sometimes we need uh, might need physical resource like a mobile phone right so these are my organizing part that means now i know which type of resources will be needing okay and how to best group them now i have grouped my resources right i know how which resources i need first which needs second and with what quantity this is in organization organizing part after that comes our leading part who will eventually carry out our plan employees right employees personnel so 
to le leading out the plan we need to motivate them they will not work for free nothing is free in this world right so we need to motivate them we can give them financial motivation or it can be non monetary motivation as well there are two types of motivation we'll discuss uh, it a bit later so leading part actually deals with employees motivating them so that they can achieve our goal which we have set okay so after leading is done our employees are ready then they are working right leading part motivation is done then controlling that means now i have to monitor my progress right controlling that means taking feedback and monitoring so in controlling part i will be monitoring my work how much i have achieved my goal uh, i had a plan in in the very beginning to boost customer satisfaction with the help of our after sales service so in controlling part if i see yes my plan was successful customer are more happy are more satisfied the percentage increased by for say 10% that means my plan worked right so this is a good plan and the plan ends here right but if it doesn't happen if i see feedback is not working for some reason okay and there is no improvement in customer satisfaction that means there must be some problem right so from controlling we'll go backward we'll check the leading part if there is problem in leading so if my employees are not working so if the problem is not in leading employees are working then we'll move forward to organizing is there any problem in my resources have i not given enough resource enough finance or enough physical resource to my employees if all the parts are okay here that means there are some problem in my planning actually so i have to go with a new plan we have to forget about our uh, after sales service now we can take our plan a or plan c for say uh, giving something extra with our product a discount to boost customer satisfaction so this is the this is the reason for backward linkage and this cross functional linkage is, is for some reason for say controlling we know in controlling part there is something wrong okay and we identify the problem is organizing part not our people directly okay we know that our people is working but our resources are less for some my employees are complaining uh, our mobile bill you give uh, the you bill the uh, give us the mobile bill which is very less i need 500 taka uh 500 taka monthly but you give me only 200 taka so i have to like recharge from myself for my own money so that is why they are dissatisfied and they cannot work properly okay so that means i need to organize my resources right so from controlling i can go directly back to organizing fix this part and move into controlling again check to check if everything is okay okay so that is sometimes cross functioning happens okay for say from controlling we come to leading there is a problem with people people are not motivated enough and they are saying the plan you actually said to execute it is unattainable the plan you gave us right that is unattainable sometimes it happens right we set a goal for employees that is really Im nearly impossible to achieve so employees are complaining you gave us gave us a kpi which is impossible to achieve we cannot achieve it so you have to fix it so from leading we directly go back to planning and decision making and change our plan right change our decision that is it sometimes it is also a cross functional work okay so it is a flow as well as it it can go backwards and it also go cross function clear depending on situation depending on organization structure it might vary any confusion over here no okay now this is the actually management process of like google what larry page he actually did so uh, larry page is a founder of google so these are the he actually said he also plan like uh, he also use this management process basic management process to achieve any type of goal so he said first he set a goal which is a part of planning and then actually uh, setting up the organization organizing part so what type of resources he need to carry out the plan and then there is managing people managing people that means it's a part of leading right and after that monitoring the performance as a part of controlling so in every big organization these parts are existing whether we call it by different name we may call it by different name but the parts are here okay so this is the actually uh, the details i just discussed the planning decision making uh, go through it by yourself the thing i just discussed is here okay in a detailed manner organizing leading and this is controlling okay now comes to 
our kinds of managers okay we talked about manager right manager is a person who carries out the management process who is responsible for achieving the goal of an organization so there can be different type of manager right in our organization there are different type of manager whose job are different from one another first comes this is the basic level okay top middle and first line managers in an organization we basically see this type of managers this is this is the broad version and very basic level top manager middle manager and line manager so who are the actually who are the top managers we can we sometimes call them vp or president right so they are the top managers so they actually are responsible for setting out the goal they actually uh, set the mission of the organization or vision of the organization the goal what to achieve right so top managers job is to actually goal setting overall strategy setting and some policies they make some policies for the employees these are the their basic job mission vision goal and strategy there are four things right what is the basic difference between vision and mission what is first vision or mission so vision is a broad concept right broad and is not specific so it can be like uh, i want to be, uh, see my company in the top uh, top 10 uh, sustainable development uh, projects in the in uh, next 5 years right for say not 5 years sustainable development organizations so this is a vague statement right i want to see my organization um, in the top sustainable development organizations okay so it, it it doesn't make any specific sense it's just i want to see my organization in a top sustainable development organizations right so the mission is actually clarifies it right so if i say in mission um our mission is to serve our people and work for the betterment of our environment okay to achieve profitability and growth of our organization it makes makes a lot sense a lot more sense than the vision right work for the people to for the betterment of the community because we are talk, we have talked about sustainable development right so talking about environment here and at the end of the day our goal is to what maximize our profit and maintain our organization goal so it is a bit clear than the vision right after that comes our goal right goal is how we best achieve our mission that means it's more specific and more short goal can be achieve, uh, for one year it can be uh, for five years but it is more specific and for shorter period goal after that comes the strategy if my organization goal is to in this fiscal year i want to uh, increase my profitability by 20% so this is my goal specific right overall strategy how to achieve my goal now i have to now i have to break down my goal right my goal was to achieve profitability in this fiscal year and increase it by 20% this is my goal what will be my strategy then to achieve this goal it's more it's more for short time period like quarterly it can be quarterly right so strategies can be divided into different uh, different departments for say account departments what would be their strategy to uh, look for look at the accounts more clearly so that there is no uh, like glitch there right so they can the money flow is good for the finance department their strategy would be how to best invest in good portfolios right so that their um, profit is maximized for marketing department what would be their strategy good uh, looking for good marketing um, uh, marketing segment for which site to invest which product to create so that the profit is increased hr department what would be their overall strategy to motivate and engage employees more so that they are more focused in working and uh, achieve our organization goal right so overall strategy it depends on it breaks down 
for each department and it is a small small term thing okay for small term thing to achieve organization goal more specific and operating policies that means every organization have some policy rules and regulation to follow right so just following this rules and regulation it can be labor law it can be organization own policy some organization follow uh, like a very rigid hierarchy right so they have to take uh, permission from every uh, steps some organization it is very flat okay so the departmental head have power over their uh, department so they can decision for their department okay so there can be different policies for different organization so the top manager his job actually is to set this goal overall strategy plan out the overall strategy and policies what would be the policies now if this is the job of a total, uh, top manager what would be the job of a middle manager okay first come to the line first line manager top manager we understood right first line manager who are mostly called the first line managers are they the first line manager they are head of a department first line wh whom we call basically the first line managers okay don't tell me any positions but what would be their job mainly what do you think what is their basic job basic function so we need to manage the top management position in the market then what is the job of a middle manager if their job is to implement the top manager's decision then what would be the job of the middle manager mainly middle managers are responsible to carry out the plan of top manager and they are middle managers are responsible for conveying the message to the first line manager so they actually work as a bridge between top manager and first line manager middle managers okay so they are the linking person who connects top manager to the first manager because first manager they might not have direct access to top, top manager right direct access now thakte pare so middle managers are the convenient they they convey the message top manager gives to the first man, line manager and first line managers are the people who are actually directly working in the field okay directly facing customer who are directly responsible for achieving small strategies so see this is a kind of manager it is a example of our ceo of starbucks who is a top um, our top manager he actually uh, makes all the decision making part such as acquiring other companies which company to acquire right acquire means buying another company and then investing in research and development which project to invest more starbucks is a coffee shop right a coffee brand so their mainly job is to if they want to acquire a co another company so if the company is profitable they will buy it right it is a big decision so this type of big decision carried out by the top manager then if they invest in should invest in research and development or not then there are like um, what market they should invest for say they have uh, outlet in australia now they want to open an outlet in bangladesh so if the, it would be a profitable de a profitable decision or not the decision is made by top manager so this sort of big decisions are carried out by our top managers now comes our middle managers see middle managers are mostly known as plan managers they have this sort of title plan manager or operations manager or division head okay so they are the middle manager their main job is to implementing the policies and plans developed by the top managers and supervising and coordinating first line managers see that means they are responsible for implementing the policies and decisions carried but uh, made by the top manager also they are work is to supervise supervise and help that means coordinate whom our first line managers okay so they have to look for our first line managers so they have to motivate them coordinate them and work with them our first line managers okay so see first line managers their main what is their main activity first line managers supervise and coordinate 
activities of operating employees that means under them there can be different level of employees executive senior executive okay so first manager their responsibility is to coordinate those people so they actually deal with mass employees right more people their title is supervisor coordinator and office manager sometimes coordinator supervisor he can be a team leader he can be a team coordinator for say uh, there is a supervisor right this is our top manager middle manager under him there is a first line manager first line manager i said it could be coordinator under him there can be different teams right yes. senior executive senior executive senior executive under this senior executive there can be multiple executives right executive this actually happens executive and executive that means what the first line manager their job is to look after and coordinate every other employee operating employee they are they are all called operating employee operating employee see operating employee so that means first manager actually deals with the mess mess employees right most of the employees and their work is to coordinate their action and also motivate them so that they achieve the company goal so their job is a bit tough right a bit tough because they actually communicate with the employees face to face but the top managers they don't actually communicate with this mess public right they only guide and communicate with the first line manager so top managers are responsible for making the big decisions big strategies the big plannings organization policies middle managers work is to carry out those policies implementing them they need to implement them as well as they need to coordinate the first line managers convey the message to the first line managers and the first line managers their job is to control and also coordinate supervise the day to day employee the every day employee or mess employee also they also look after see day to day activities they also look after the day to day activities that means what individual employees doing actually what their performance is first manager that means will report about individual employee to the top uh, middle manager and middle manager will convey this message to the top manager so this is the hierarchy of our basic management any confusion about about this uh, topic kinds of manager these are very easy topic right but don't get confused between the, uh, the different levels just remember which role is what okay don't get get confused in these roles after that this is managing in different area of the organization see top manager middle manager and first line manager there can be different type of first line manager see marketing department finance department operating department human resource administrative for say here first line manager the first line managers they are hr department finance department accounting department okay under them there can be a lot of employees right so first line managers from there the separation actually is bigger right the sections are bigger so top management very few top management middle management a bit more line manager first line management they are the actually sometimes called coordinators of the department so now from first line manager we get different areas of management as well right marketing managers hr managers accounting managers and other type of managers so what is the basic job of an of a marketing manager just uh, explain from your own knowledge marketing managers what are what are their job what what they do actually it is all related with marketing right that means how i can promote my organization better how i can achieve my profitability how i can sell my product better how i can maintain relationship with my customers this is all about marketing so our marketing manager is responsible for getting customers and client and buying their product and services see the the, the thing i just told 
customer uh, building a relationship with customer and selling their products and ser services sometimes what they do they also help the middle managers in planning for new product development or promotion right the first line managers or the marketing managers they actually work with um, customers or the employees face to face right they know what customer needs they know the customer need very well rather than the top management or the middle management so if they give an idea about a new product development it would be a valid point right because they know no more if they give an idea about promotion and distribution that idea would be more valid because they know more right they work face to face with the customer they know the customer need so sometimes our marketing manager also helps the top manager in new product development decision if they should introduce a new product depending on customer need or they should uh, bring more promotion for say marketing manager said other companies they are promoting their product uh, via arranging a fair so we should do a fair as well okay so this type of promotion distribution distribution that means distribution channel if they should increase the distribution channel or not supply chain right so this is the basic job of an marketing manager everything and anything related with product customer service okay any confusion in this this okay now what is the job of a finance manager what are the basic functions a finance department does actually investing and financing investing and financing in what only investing and financing That means that means uh, finance department work is to actually uh, look for why to invest right financing to other departments that means I talked about marketing department for the, if they are planning for a new product development they need money why where will they get the money the finance department will manage the money for them right and they will decide if the money is worth the spending on marketing department or not for say marketing department and each other department they both have very good proposal marketing department is saying if I we develop a new product our customer uh, we will get a new customer base and our profit will increase HR department is saying we are lack of human resource if we don't if we have more sales representative then we can get uh, give a better service so we need more people so there, there are two proposals so which proposal the finance department will actually go forward with and invest in it's their job to analyze which is more profitable and which is not then they will invest accordingly right they will put money on that department so finance department actually deals with this type of investment not only that if the top management wants to acquire a company their job is to manage the finance right even I'm talking about new product development where the finance would come they have like for uh, the owner's pocket only the money will be coming for only the owner's pocket take loan bank loan or the most uh, organizations do is sell their stock in the share market right so from there they can raise the money so it is the job of a finance department to look for this stuff where they will collect the fund if they go for public go to public for uh, uh, selling by selling a stock or they would go to bank or any other organization to raise the fund okay so this is finance department job to ensure from where they will be collecting the fund okay so this is everything managing collecting finance managing finance and everything related with it is the job of our finance manager what is the job of an operation manager the 
but operation department is a separate department right so then how he can responsible for other departments job which type of operation actually uh, we are talking about day to day activity operations see mainly operation managers they are responsible with creating and managing system that creates an organization products and services what are the typical responsibility includes production control inventory control quality control plant layout site that means it's all about factory job factory layout right i said day to day activities right so a operation manager actually look for a uh, looks for production control if the product quality is all right right and they also uh, like look uh, for the inventory control if the inventory uh, level is okay or not okay also quality product quality is good or not and every day to day activity uh, that is happening in the plant in a factory they are responsible for looking after that so everything and anything relating relating to a plant factory or site job is concerned for our operations manager so this is the job of an operation manager then there was our human resource and administrative manager what is the difference between human resource and administrative department can't they do the do, uh, aren't they do, uh, supposed to do the same work human resource that is that they are searching people Administration, just follow up the administration. Okay. But their work is same or different? in some organizations we see a department called management our administration right admin department in some organizations there are human resource department or as well as admin department okay so sometimes what happen when uh, in small organizations admin department actually look over at, uh, the human department work as well because the work is very less but in big organizations they need two separate departments for what because human resource department is actually responsible for hiring or recruiting employees motivating them training them benefit compensation and everything related to that sort of stuff and our administration department that is really a basic day to day and uh, administrative work for say we are out of stationaries the administrative department will look after that sometimes what happens when there is uh, no uh, in small companies there is no fingerprint system or id punch system okay so what happens administration department actually manually record the attendance of the employees and who, who is leaving in what time so this sort of stuff so who is taking leave or not so giving the application manually this sort of stuff is given by the uh, taken uh, taken care of by the administrative department day to day general uh, small activities okay so this is an a uh, uh, human resource department it is actually concerned with the recruitment benefit incentive a long term processes human resource processes and the last one is other sort of managements other managers what is not included here we have talked about everything right finance human resource administrative operation marketing what is left sales is there a, uh, any sales department specifically for in in the, on in or any organization i didn't see sales department i only saw marketing departments what other departments there can be that means communicating with the customers right uh, field work but uh, apparently what happens in our company is that uh, you know, we have marketing people does everything right desk job uh, field job field visit everything is done by only one person so if you are appointed for marketing department you are responsible for doing everything right product development customer relationship going there going there and everything uh, okay so it can be different departments right and what other what other department we missed human resource department and legal department is different which is known as labor relationship department right which is actually concerned with labor union 
labor union and labor law and industrial law. They look over these factors. And we, you, we have missed another department, a huge one, which is very important nowadays. Look over here, what we missed. Something related with finance? Many organizations have this, yeah, accounts department. Many organizations have finance and accounts department individually. Finance department look over for the portfolio for investment and how to collect investment, which uh, thing to invest, which uh, portfolio to invest, and account department actually uh, carry out the day-to-day -day work, day-to-day -day, uh, financial activities. For, for, say, ad, for administrative work, we need stationaries. So where we can get the money from the accounts department, okay? So that uh, they handle the petty cash, actually. Okay, sometimes they handle the petty cash, accounts department. And another big one, which is related to marketing, which is very important for any you know, uh, technological advancement organization. Nowadays, take, IT. yeah, research and development, right? right? IT department, research and development. So there are these sort of uh, other managers as well. Depending on company need, we have different type of managers, okay? So one can be our, we say, research and development. For those company who are technologically very advanced, they must have a research and development team, right? There can be IT team if it need, needed. We have an IT team because we actually rely on them. We have to, uh, the infrastructure we are following needs our IT help, IT support, so IT team. As well as we might have sales department separated from marketing team if there is a big sales team. There can be account department separated from finance department if the organization is big. So there can be different managers, but these are the basic forms actually, okay? Basic kinds of. There can be different departments depending on the cons uh, our company need. So these are the basic criteria of our different kinds of manager. So we have talked about our, uh, what is organization? What is management? What are the management processes? the resources we need for our uh, uh, carrying out the managerial process, what is the difference between effectiveness and efficiency, who are the managers, right? And then we have discussed about the management process. Also, we have talked about different types of managers, right? Broad area, three type, top, middle, first line. Among the first line, there are different type of separations, right? Different criteria. Which section require, the, the sections are marketing, it can be finance, it can be accounting, human resource, as well as research and development, other type, different other types of managers. So this is the actually summary of our today's class. Anyone have any confusion in on those topics we just discussed? No, okay. So from the next class, we'll be discussing our manager role, okay? I have given you the slide, go through it. Uh, and if you don't understand anything that I have just taught today, you can let me know in the next class, okay? Video tech action pause for again. Shall we attendance there? Close for